internal energy and this one is very very important and one of the I think more difficult to get because it's a little bit complex we could see it either microscopic or microscopic uh, in thermodynamics is depending on what approach you want to go so I'm going to give you first the microscopic and then the microscopic because I think they complement each other and as kinetic energy and potential energy internal energy is an energy of content the system will have it and it's actually very dependent on temperature so first thing first let's do microscopic view uh, it refers to energy contained within the system as I told you excluding the kinetic and potential energy of the system as a whole so it, this will this application will be only valid when you consider the total content energies as this okay it will be content energies so if you have no potential no kinetic all other energy will be internal energy okay keep that in mind it keeps count of gains and losses of energy of the system of course because if you cannot count a gain in potential and a gain in kinetic well it must be a gain in internal energy and so on the internal energy of a system can be changed by first thing here is the heating system you increase or you let's say you add heat and you increase the temperature maybe or maybe you don't need to increase the temperature because maybe in a phase change you don't increase the temperature but you still add energy you may change it by doing work or by adding more matter of course because matter has already internal energy so if you add more matter to the system well you're going to have more energy so let's say you have a 10 kilogram system here and then you add more let's say other 10 kilograms so you will have a total of 20 kilograms and the internal energy of the whole system here will increase good that's microscopic hopefully you're getting more into the idea of that's when I use huge or a approach of macro but of course we want to see microscopic view internal energy once again but now in a microscopic spa uh, view we will have either microscopic in kinetic and potential energies but I am meaning like literally micro there's molecular translation rotation vibration so you have these things they they vibrate they also translate they move here and there and backwards and they also rotate so they and you know that if there are molecules and they are small spheres let's say they are small balls they need energy to move so that's the internal energy now the nuclear spin electron spin and electron translation I don't want that to explain you that much because that's more into quantum mechanics but you will get the idea that this is here the electron spin well the electron is spinning as this molecule is rotating well the electron is rotating as well we call it the spin then the translation of the electron you know that it only doesn't move like this but it goes around the nucleus and the nuclear spin is also the nucleus is spinning so if you have protons and neutrons well it's also spinning that's for kinetic values let's see for potential will be chemical energy between bonds let's say you have uh, carbon and oxygen and you have this bond here there's energy but it's potential it's hidden even though you still have it and the nuclear energy how much energy you need to let's say paste those protons you know that positive and positive repel each other so you need neutrons which they will let's say glue the system and that requires energy as well so that's an insight of internal energy in the microscopic view so let's see more about this the micro and macro analysis heating increases the translation of molecules you know that heating in general increases temperature and if you increase temperature remember the average velocity of that molecules are going to be increased the rotations as well because they are they are increasing and the heat is 
making them to spin more and rotate away more. And they, of course, going to vibrate more because they have more tension, so they have more energy, so they can start vibrating between each other. Actually, imagine a solid will be like this. If you add temperature, they will start to loosen up until they became liquid or even gas, which they will be totally crazy. Also, the chemical energy between bonds changes. So, for example, these right here start going more loose or more stressed, depending on that. And, yeah, essentially that's for heating. Now, let's see for work. Doing work increases also translation, rotation, vibration of molecules. You're adding more let's say energy, they're going to rotate more, they're going to translate a little bit more. Like logically, if you move that or you add the work, of course it's going to move. Maybe also change the chemical energy between bonds, particles and other stuff. This is not that common, but it can happen. And finally, but not least, I remember saying you that adding or taking out mass of the system will change the internal energy. And probably you know it, you know that mass has energy by definition. Actually, it's energy equals this mass to the speed of light to the square. That's the relationship between energy and mass. And I think we're done. Yeah, this is the last one. Uh, internal energy is very important, so we will analyze it further. And uh, not only how it's, or what's that, but how to calculate it. We're going to change. Uh, we're going to actually calculate changes, which are the thing that important or more important to us. And the units of this, since it's energy, of course, it is joule. And this property is very important, especially in closed systems or constant volume processes. We're going to see that later on. What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.